Yo, what's good, everybody? We back with another video, man. And before y'all get on my ass, okay? I know, I know, I know. I told y'all, daily vlogs, daily check-ins, but that obviously has not been happening. Bro, look, I promise you, I picked up my camera on that Monday. Actually, I will start recording on Sunday. So I picked my camera up on that Sunday to get y'all a video on Monday. And when I tell y'all, I just did not even have the energy to like talk or be any type of entertainer or anything like that. Like I literally just put the camera right back down because I was like, this is not gonna be a video that y'all gonna be entertained by. It's not gonna be a video y'all gonna wanna watch. And at the end of the day, like I need energy to do more shit than record a video. You know what I'm saying? So my bad, <laughs> my bad. But I ain't gonna leave y'all completely hanging. I'm giving y'all a midweek check-in. So as y'all do know, it is peak week. And for those of y'all that don't know, peak week is basically the week before leading up to your show. So you deplete your body the most that it's ever been, and then you carve back up, and you're supposed to have your, your peak physique by the end of this week. So that's what peak week is. The time recording this video is Wednesday, which is literally a midweek check-in. So when y'all see this, I'm literally recording this in the middle of the week, so I can give y'all like a complete update. But we checked in this morning at the lowest weight I've ever been. Like we checked in at 203.3 today. That's the lowest weight I've been my entire prep. I ain't been like under sub 205 for like a long time, bro. But I'm not gonna give y'all, sorry, they cut the grass outside. But I'm not gonna give y'all physique update right now because I'm taking y'all to the gym with me as well to give y'all my physique update while I'm at the gym, take y'all through a little workout and show you what my posing and everything looks like because I got my posing trunks in that y'all have not seen yet on the YouTube. If you've been tapping to the IG, I put a poll on my story to figure out which posing trunks and shorts I wanted to wear for my show. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't get the ones y'all told me to get. I got the ones that I wanted. But when we get to the gym, I'll show y'all stuff in those too. But yeah, I kind of really want to just make this video to give y'all an update on what we got going on, kind of take y'all through my entire day, I'm saying full day eating, everything like that. Just so y'all can get a little taste of how I'm feeling three days out from my show now. So as always, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend. We damn near trying to get to 25K by the day the show day video drop. The other thing we get to 25K by the day the show day video drop, that means we got one video that y'all seeing right now. I'm trying to get y'all another video, the one day out video, and then the show day video. Y'all let me know if y'all think we can do that. But I told y'all I got y'all with the updates, so I got y'all. Y'all stay tuned, man. I be forgetting how I look right now. Like, I'm so damn rough. Haircut coming on Thursday, though. Y'all stay tuned for that. <laughs> but just a little update on how my days normally go. So when I wake up in the morning, I weigh myself first after I use the bathroom. That's how I get my, you know, morning weight. Then after that, I come down here and I take my check-in pictures. And once I send Cuz my check-in pictures, he literally updates my plan for that entire day. So I don't know what I'm eating. I don't know. Damn. So I don't really know what I'm eating. I don't really know what my macro is going to be all the way up until I send my check-in pictures and he gives me the plan for the day. And another thing, our peak week workouts change. I know longer I'm on my current workout split I'm on a peak week split so every day it's like upper and lower there's only six exercises and it's literally three sets of 15 on everything so I'm gonna show you what that looks like when we get to the gym but for the most part every day is different like literally every day is different like I got peanut butter added back into my diet eating more almonds we taking out more carbs and adding in more fat I'm losing weight but I'm still feeling full ish but literally every day is different I never wake up knowing what I'm about to do for the next day so I sent in my check-ins and now I'm just waiting for them to come back so I can see what I'm actually doing today only only thing that didn't change is my breakfast. I'm still eating four eggs, 200 grams of egg whites, and 100 grams of strawberries. Like, that's still the same every day. So, I'm not gonna show y'all that because I already ate that. But we wait right now to get our check ins back. And once we do get them check ins in, I'm gonna update y'all on what we got planned for today. So, like I said, our plan just got updated. So, let me take y'all through what we got changed for today. So, three days out, our water intake is two and a half gallons today. Um, treadmill is still the same, incline 10 speed, three for 30 minutes and um, still 10K steps a day. But the meal plan is where things actually get tricky. So for our first meal, like I said, we still got four whole eggs, 200 grams of egg whites and spinach, and 100 grams of strawberries. That has not changed. Meal number two now, we got six ounces of 93.7 ground beef and only 100 grams of rice. And then we got 30 grams of almonds added to that, which is something that we didn't have before. Our pre-workout meal is four rice cakes, one scoop of whey protein, and now we got 30 grams of peanut butter. We used to have 20 grams of the past two days, now he upped it to 30 grams. And our post-workout meal is six ounces of chicken, 75 grams of rice. It was 150 grams of rice the first day, and they got dropped down to 100, and now we have 75. So this is literally like the least amount of rice I'm eating. That's all the rice we get for the rest of the day, I believe. So yeah, 175 grams of rice for the entire day. Coming from like days where I was eating like three, 400 grams of rice per meal. Like, yeah, that shit crazy. Then meal number five, we got six ounces of chicken and 50 grams of veggies, which is gonna be my broccoli. And then meal number six, we got six ounces of 937 ground beef and then 30 grams of almonds. So that's our meal plan for today. Um, we also got a caffeine limit now. Our caffeine limit is 300 milligrams. 
And the pre-workouts I do have are like 400 and 350 respectively. So I'm about to try to like weigh it out to make sure I'm not getting over 300 milligrams. And another thing, I have to add four twists of pink salt to every meal. So I don't know the exact science behind why I'm having more salt with my meals now, because I think the salt's supposed to help take the water out of your muscles, help deplete you even more. Literally tomorrow, I can see that I only put one twist in there now. So I think this muscle just helped me like deplete even more. And then me drinking more water is supposed to help even it out. But yeah, that is our meal plan for the rest of the day now i'm just waiting on credit to get back so we can go to the gym but i'm gonna show you all my meals as i make them because i actually got to cook my ground beef now but before that let's talk about energy real quick i know i told y'all i felt like i had no energy the past two days that's why the reason i didn't record and everything like that but literally starting yesterday i don't know what happened i don't know what it was but i posed and i watched myself back on video and that shit gave me such a spark bro it literally like turned everything up for me i got so much energy after seeing like one video of how i look because i don't be seeing myself you know what i'm saying the way that every Everybody else will see me because obviously I'm like living in my body. So when I look in the mirror, I see what I see. But when I look back at it on video or on pictures, I'd be like, damn, I did not know I looked like that. So I looked at myself, bro, and I literally got so much energy because I realized how close we are to the finish line. I realized how close we are to being done with this shit. And another thing, I went on the NPC website and I was able to go and look at prior shows from this season. And I was looking at like the competitors from the season and who won their classes and blah, blah, blah. And I was looking at like basically how I compared to them. Granted, it's a different show. Granted, it's a different environment, everything like that. But I was putting myself in that position. I was thinking like, oh, where would I place if I was here? And I honestly saw myself doing pretty well. So I used that and I used me seeing myself and it literally just gave me so much energy that I needed at this time because right now I'm eating the least amount of food I've ever been eating. Training is the hardest. I don't get no caffeine. Like I'm literally tired as hell, bro. But seeing myself and realizing that I'm literally three days out, like I'm three days out from being done with my first show, three days out from like putting all 12 of these weeks up to on stage. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been doing this shit for so long and we this close to the finish line. That shit just gave me so much energy that I decided yesterday. I was like, tomorrow I'm picking the camera. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually going to record because I have the energy to do that. I went on live yesterday and I was actually having fun. You know what I'm saying? Because the first time I went on live, nigga, I was tired as hell. You know what I'm saying? But this time I went on live and I actually was, I'm playing my music. You know what I'm saying? Like I normally be because I had like a little bit of energy in me you know and i don't know what it is bro i don't know what it is what flipped that switch in my head but i literally just like something clicked bro something clicked and now i have a little bit more energy that i didn't have before i'm motivated to go to the gym i'm motivated to do extra posing after the session i'm motivated to like you know make sure i'm doing everything like to the t you know what i'm saying this is something i'm gonna talk about a little a bit later but i watched somebody video that just competed and they were talking about you know the amount of things that they did that they wish they did differently that they felt like they didn't bring their best physique to the stage because of the thing that they allowed themselves to do cheating on their meals not getting their steps in not doing cardio things like that but i can say for myself that that is not the case with me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm bringing my best current physique to the stage. Granted, I want to be bigger. Granted, there's some things I want to do that I can't really do right now. But in terms of discipline, in terms of me doing the things that I've told myself and that my coach has told me that I have to do, bro, I ain't cheated once, bro. I have not cheated once. I've gone out with people, watched them eat their food, watched them have their fun, and sat there like, I'm not doing this right now because I know I got a goal in mind. You know what I'm saying? I went out, uh, Crane be getting, bringing pizza home, bringing milkshakes home, bringing burgers, blah, 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 all kind of stuff. And I'm sitting here thinking like, you know, I could cheat. I can have a bite of that. Bro, it was literally an instance we went to the pool and somebody was trying to give me a piece of watermelon, like a little chunk of watermelon. And I told they ass no. I was like, no, I'm not eating that because not in my plan. No, it may not have a, a huge effect on me, but no, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? And me like hearing that now after watching that video and seeing how undisciplined people do be sometimes when it comes to this shit, put me in such a better position in my headspace because I'm just like, bro, I've literally stuck to this plan so strictly for 12 weeks, you know what I'm saying? For 12 weeks, I have not allowed myself to stray from the path. And now when we got get on this stage and I put my physique out there, y'all gonna be able to see that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna be able to see all the work I done put in that I have not cheated once. And that shit is crazy. I don't know what, what, what it was. It might've been that, it might've been the fact that I seen myself, it might've been the fact that I seen like other shows, but something clicked and I got the energy now, boy. So now at this point, three days out, Shit finna turn up. <laughs> no cat shit finna turn up. But I'm not about to have y'all watch me make my ground beef because you already seen the video on how that go. So when we done, I'm gonna show y'all what the plate look like with only 100 grams of rice now. I'm gonna show y'all my new pre-workout meal, which I actually get to put peanut butter on my rice cakes. Then we gonna go ahead and head to the gym, man. We literally three days out, bro. That shit is crazy to think about. <laughs> that shit crazy to think about. 
So like I said, I just cooked my ground beef for my second meal of the day. If you want to know the recipe to that, I just dropped a YouTube video on how I'm going to prep my food and go watch that. So I got my food right here. I'm going to show what I'm eating right now. We got six ounces of 937 ground beef and we got 100 grams of jasmine rice and we put this Cholula Chipotle on there. This is it. Like this is literally it, bro. I ain't a lot on the plate. It kind of do look like it's a lot. Like it don't look like I'm starving myself right now, but 100 grams of rice, bro, compared to my nigga, I'm 6'1". You know what I'm saying? I used to be 220. You know what I'm saying? This is nothing. <laughs> it, when I was bulking, I was eating like 400 grams of rice per meal, six times a day. You know what I'm saying? This right here, 100 grams of rice, and not, that's gonna be like this is more than half the entire rice I'm gonna eat for the entire day. Like, yeah, bro, this is this is nothing. But if I'm gonna knock this out right here, then I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the gym. Shout out my pre workout meal. We're gonna head to the gym. Hopefully, Cranin back by then so y'all can see her, so y'all can get off my ass. I know y'all in the comments talking about, where's Cranin? Where's Cranin? We came here to see Cranin. Blah, blah, blah. I need to go watch her new YouTube videos because she has been dropping a lot of YouTube videos and she dropped one today. The day I'm recording this video, she just dropped a vlog on YouTube. So y'all need to go watch that. But let me go ahead and knock this food out right here. I'm gonna see y'all in a second. All right, so we just got changed into our gym fit of the day so I can show what we got on. We got this Gymshark Power Wash T. Power Wash shorts and the yellow shorts of the summer. I'll be trying to tell y'all, like, these are literally the shorts of the summer. And they just restocked. If you know, you know. Go check. <laughs> Go tap into those. And we got the 450s on the feet. Speaking of Gymshark, the annual Gymshark summer sale is going live June 29th where you can get things up to 60% off the entire site. And my code, code SWOLE, is going to give y'all an extra 10% off everything y'all may want. So for y'all seeing this video right now, y'all are the first ones to know about this summer sale. So y'all can literally go on the Gymshark website right now, log in, you can start putting things on a wish list that's going to be on the sale. So whenever the sale actually happens, you literally just can just go Add your wish list to your cart, check out. Boom, simple like that. Obviously, y'all can see this whole set right here is all gym sharks. So if you want to be dripped out in the gym like your boy, make sure y'all go tap into the sales 10 a.m. CST on June 29th. Whole website gonna be up to 60% off and you can get an extra 10% off with Cold Swole. Y'all heard it here first. And I just got some in the mail today. You know, y'all may think just because I got this black and yellow one, I was gonna throw these on feet today. But we ended up getting the Thunder Fours in from my guys at Infinity Kick. Shout out them over there in PA. I know one of y'all corny boys would do something like this. I know one of y'all gonna put this on with this fit right here. Too much black and yellow, bro. Too much black and yellow. The goal is to match, but the goal is not to be obnoxious. You know what I'm saying? But Cranny upstairs getting ready right now. So while we wait, I'm going to show y'all my pre-workout meal. Then we're going to go ahead and head to the gym. So a lot of y'all know already about my pre-workout meal. I normally eat five rice cakes for my pre-workout meal, but Cuz dropped it down to four rice cakes, but he did give us peanut butter now. So we get 30 grams of peanut butter for our pre-workout meal. Not to mention we got one scoop of whey protein. We're going to go with that cinnamon toast crunch by first form. Let me show y'all how we put this all together. So we got our scale right here. And normally how I weigh this out is I zero out the scale first and then i'll take the top off of course and i put it on there and it gives you the weight right so we have 412 so i get 30 grams of peanut butter so quick math you know what i'm saying 12 10 minus 20 boom 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 get 382 so that means by the time we scoop out everything the scale should say 382 so we'll get our uh, rice cakes i think i may have enough to put 10 grams on three today. But we grab our rice case, go into the first one. 10 grams of peanut butter on each one. Boom, that's one. 10 grams on the next one. Then we go 10 grams on another one. And that's gonna bring it to 382. I'm making sure I'm getting the most out of it. I'm making sure it's exact, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting the most out of this peanut butter because y'all didn't know I hadn't had peanut butter in like months. And peanut butter is something that I love, no cap. So 382 on there right now. Close this up. And we getting it all. I'm finna lick the uh, I'm finna lick the knife. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it over here so y'all don't have to get on me like that. But we we getting it all. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not letting none of this go to waste. I'll be right back. I'm telling y'all, we're not letting no goods go to waste. No cap. But yeah, we got three rice cakes with peanut butter. We're gonna have one without peanut butter. We get our protein shake together. We got one scoop of this cinnamon toast crunch by first form. Then we add in that beloved aquafina. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta throw it in the Gila mix and the Gila mix gotta match the fit. I gotta go with a black one because we do not have any yellow Gila mixes. Gila mix was good, you know what I'm saying? We need some yellow ones. Coast wall on the Gila mix as always. But go ahead and shake this up and boom, now we got our pre-work on I me. Mean, we finna wait for Crane to get down here. We go ahead to the gym. Okay. All right, so Cranin is at the crib. I showed y'all a little glimpse of her, but she getting ready to go to the gym. She doing her hair and stuff. Finally, if y'all seen her TikToks and everything, she wearing her natural hair and I love it, bro. She needs to do that shit a lot more. So she doing her hair right now. She's gonna head to the gym later, but we headed over to Roman Empire right now and I'm gonna show y'all our workout and what we doing right now, three days out and how we kind of preparing and pumping up our body for our show. Because if you can realize like at this point, we have a show in, in three days, you know what I'm saying? We're not about to put on no type of muscle in 
three days. So we're not about to be in the gym, you know, exerting ourselves to the, to the point where we're going to failure, you know what I'm saying, trying to overburn our muscles so we can't recover, because at the end of the day, we gotta show our muscles in three days, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna share what it looks like to train three days out from a show, but while I'm driving there, I can give y'all a little update about what we've done so far. Like I did go to, if you know, like been on my TikTok, y'all seen that I've been to the nail salon, got my hands and my feet done, you know what I'm saying? I got my hair cut, I'm getting tomorrow. Um, what else? I've been exfoliating my body, it was something you have to do before you get tanned. You have to do this full body exfoliation. So the tan's able to stick to your body, the tan looks smooth when it's applied to your body and it actually like lasts on your body. And then when I get back to the crib after the gym, I'm actually gonna do the hair removal that I'm gonna have to do. So we bought like this Nair. I had to get this super natural one because my body is very sensitive to like alcohols and everything. And I decided I'm gonna shave some areas, but I'm gonna use Nair on the areas where it's more hair because I don't want to like use Nair and then my hair don't grow back because y'all know my hair grows slow. Like all the hair I got on my body right now, especially like on my arms and legs, is hair that's been there like forever. You know what I'm saying? Like my hair does not grow quickly. I don't want to use no type of product on my body that's gonna cut the hair off my body and make it not grow back. Cause the shit on there say, it say, um, prevents hair regrowth like hell no i don't want none of that so we're gonna shave for the most part we're gonna use the the body hair remover on some other parts but we're gonna do that when we get back to the crib and i know y'all said y'all want to see crane and wax me yeah we're not doing that because uh you had to get waxed like a week before the show basically to like allow all the oils and everything to be off your skin so it doesn't affect the tan and everything but we didn't have enough time to do that so we're just gonna go ahead and do the hair removal i'm gonna show y'all that process too and then we're gonna cap the video right there but we're on the way to the gym right now but i know you already see this workout i know you already see me posing with the physique look like three days out <laughs> and i can't wait to show y'all boy because shit crazy i ain't gonna lie <laughs> all right so let me tell you what we got going on today so basically when it comes to our prep um workouts we literally are doing three sets of 15 on everything we got six workouts and it's an upper body split day today so we got six upper body workouts starting on this shoulder press right here we're really just gonna go through it not too heavy weight because we're not trying to you know injure ourselves we're not trying to have our muscle break down too too much but we still want to make sure we're getting a good pump to get good blood flow throughout our muscles you know what i'm saying so Three sets of 15 are everything. I'm about to share what we do, but the workout's gonna be quick, honestly. I'll be getting that, I'll be like getting in and out. I would say in like 45 minutes, tops, hour tops, and the rest of the time I spend posing. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, like the posing is what matters the most. So we got our body to the point as far as we're gonna get it, you know? We got our body to the point where we've been trying to get it to lean wise, conditioning wise, you know what I'm saying? But at this point, make sure we get all the motion down, get all that shit together. So, about to take us to this full workout, show what we do right now, three days out. Get into it, man. Like I said, bro, not too crazy on the weight, but something that's still challenging ourselves to make sure we get good blood flow, good pump. Do a couple warm up sets, but we're still doing three sets of 15. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high. So we're gonna lead the weight right here, do the same thing. We actually gotta do 10 to 15 reps. So we're trying to push ourselves to that mid range, try to get about 12, keep the weight similar heavy. That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? So we literally got one more set of that and we on to the next exercise. Like I said, it's quick. It's quick. We just getting in, get a good pump. Majority of the time we're gonna be in here posing, getting our cardio in. So let's go ahead and get through it, man. So we also the seated lateral raise now. We can do the standing, we can use machines, we can use dumbbells, we got a whole bunch of options, honestly. But I prefer right now to be using machines just so I feel like I get a better contraction. Obviously, when you got cables, you get time and attention, like that full range of motion, you know what I'm saying? But that's kind of what I want to do right now. I feel like, you know, a lot of people want to prioritize dumbbells sometimes. And, you know, it's good for you to, uh, like, stabilize the muscle and everything like that. But I'm really trying to target the exact muscle I'm trying to fire, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to use cables. Uh, I'm probably going to use cables and machines for all of my workouts. But we got the seated lateral raise right here, right now. Same as always, though. Three sets of 15. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Got to go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I got to shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding dotted line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. And oddly enough, I'm actually getting a pump right now. I don't have enough food in my body to really have a pump, but I'm feeling something. I'm feeling something. I got like two more sets of that. Man. You wanna see me fall? I can't go. I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bank clothes and roll leave. Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick. You can get high with me. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick. You can get high with me. That's a deal, right? At this point, bro. We ain't got enough time to leave no type of reps on the table, bro. Think about it like this. Somebody you competing up against, 
finish their whole set. You know what I'm saying? If I would have stopped at 12 reps and then go to 15, somebody I'm competing against would have hit that 15, right? So say if I step up on stage, we put all the bikes right beside each other, that shit show, you feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we always be saying it's you versus you, right? But three days out, that's when it really come down to it. Should've been doing that shit for 12 weeks, you know what I'm saying? I was doing that shit for 12 weeks, you know what I'm saying? So if somebody was putting in more work than me for these 12 weeks, it's gonna show. But you gotta put it in your mindset, it's like you're not gonna let nobody have that advantage of you, you know what I'm saying? It's you versus you, bro. No cap. Same thing here, bro. Three sets, 10 to 15 on this rear delt fly. And we already halfway through the workout. I'm young and I'm paid to play with these sounds, ignoring the call, she's shutting that gown. Started the top and I'm taking it down off the champagne. Took a break from the brown on the rampage, I've been giving it brown. Shout even solid some time now. I'm my life for the wine dying and I'm with it. Look where we started and look where we had. I can see where we had. So it. Play, finished. Three years ago, I was down on my last. Was stuck at the crib, I couldn't get out of my bed. Finish your play, man. Your goal is to eat, you can't be mad. Have my food on the plate, no cap. Do that shit, bro. Come on, man. Somebody all working me, bro. Twelve fucking weeks of not cheating. Twelve fucking weeks of doing what the fuck I had to do. Nobody out working me, bro. I'm turned up right now. I ain't gonna lie. Been printing my nigga, just gotta go get it. I'm in the zone through the winter. I'm trying to see Rose, he Venice. I'm at the summit, I'm dumb in my budget, my nigga. It's nothing, just part of my image. I need a minute. I know they live it, admit it. I'm Tita. Little baby, she a teaser. Tell her to follow the leader. I put that weight on my shoulders, so let's run up the check in my DJ. To that, we got a little ab workout, then we're going right to the posing, man. So, like I said, it's quick, we in and out, but that don't mean we're not working, you know. Man, workout done. I'm gonna get on to these abs, all right. Same concept apply with the ab workout. Three sets of 15, we got crunches, we got leg raises, we got rushing to it. So I'm gonna go over there, knock this out for y'all. I get too high, I'm afraid of the ground. I'm young and I'm paid to play with these sounds. Ignoring the call, she's shutting that gown. Started the top and I'm taking it down off the champagne. Took a break from the brown on the rampage, I've been giving it brown. Shout even solid some time now. I'm my life for the wine dying and I'm with it. Look where we started and look where we at. I can see where we had it. But can't we finished. Three years ago, I was down on my last. Was stuck at the crib, I couldn't get out of my bed. Then I realized it's all in my head. And I can go back to the past, yeah. Step now, Straight body weight, straight work. Getting a good pump, good burn. We really make sure we feel and activating the muscles. Literally all you need. Crunches for the top, leg raises for the bottom, rest twists for the obliques and the full core. Let's go pose, man. So yeah, I'm about to do my posing now. Y'all haven't seen my posing trunks yet, so these are my posing trunks for men's physique. I went with the black and red ones. I know I put a poll on my IG if you've seen that, but these are the ones that I went with. They came in my size. And I just like the way I look in black and red. I feel like it's gonna look best on pictures and look best on my body. And these are the trunks that I have for a classic physique. It's just this black, pretty simple, but it has a little snakeskin pattern to it. I'm gonna, I don't know if y'all can see that for real, but it got a little snakeskin pattern to it, a little razzle dazzle, you know what I'm saying? But I'm about to put these on, show you what our physique is looking like three days out in both of our posing materials, you feel me? So let me go change. All right, so we got them on. This is how the men's physique trunks look. I'm gonna do everything with all the lights on so we get the most natural light in, then I'm gonna cut it off and see what it look like in like the more cinematic lighting. But I'm gonna go through our men's physique routine first. I'm gonna turn the lights on and off. Then I'm gonna go through my classic mandatories and I'm gonna go through my classic posing routine so we can see everything. Y'all can see how I'm looking. So let's get into it, man. Oh, 
y'all so we just finished our posing routine as y'all can see what the physique is looking like three days out from our show we're literally on our last day of depletion and the carb up starts and i ain't gonna lie i honestly even look i like how my body looks right now depleted so i can't even imagine to see what i'm gonna look like carved up pumped up tanned up ready on stage to be ready to show off you know what i'm saying so look man i hope y'all enjoyed this part of the video I'm about to go do my cardio right now i'm gonna catch y'all back at the crib but look i gotta say one thing bro one thing i always like it's something that's stuck in my mind since i've been starting this shit like Everybody always wanna talk about how practice make perfect, right? That shit is not true, okay? Practice does not make perfect. Only perfect practice makes perfect. I'll be in here messing up. If you in here uh, practicing and you messing up, you're gonna mess up when the time count. You feel what I'm saying? When the time really matter, you're gonna mess up. If you're not practicing the way you are performing, you're gonna, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna perform the way you want to. You have to be in here every day practicing the way you wanna perform on stage. So when, I, like when I'm in here and I mess up, like no, we're not counting that as a rep. We're not counting that as practice, you know what I'm saying? Every rep that counts is the one that's done perfectly. And I'm not saying I do everything perfectly because I cut all the clips out of me like messing up, you feel what I'm saying? But we at the point right now where it's like I've been practicing this shit for so long, like every rep has to be on point. Every rep gotta be on key. Cause at the end of the day, we get one show in on stage. We, yeah, we're competing in however many classes, but we get one showing. We get up there that one time, that's when the shit matters. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, only perfect practice make perfect. Take that into your head and really live by that. But I'm about to go ahead and go to this cardio now. And what's up? Good. I'm sweaty. You want to say what's up to people? What's up to I can't hear you. Hello, hello. Everybody tell her, everybody tell her how y'all love her hair. That shit looks great. And she don't like it. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud. He's doing so good. So, you know, I'm going to be the loudest one in the stands. I'm about to be so loud. Anyways, but I'm really proud of him. He's doing so good. He has not, when I tell you, he has been so locked in with his diet and everything <laughs> and his training. On days that he doesn't want to train, he's still there and training going hard. You are a talented young man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. But yeah, man, if I go to this cardio now, I'm gonna catch y'all back at the crib.
one eternity later. All right, just made it back to the crib, so now we're about to have our post-workout meal. We got six ounces of chicken, and we got 75 grams of rice, and that's all the rice we're gonna have for the rest of the day. Like I was telling y'all, this is the lowest carb day we've had in a minute. Literally only 175 grams of rice total throughout our day. Of course, we got like veggies and stuff too, like 50 grams of um, vegetables. But that's literally all the carbs we get. It's like 200 grams of carbs total. So I'm not this out right here. I'm gonna shower and we'll get into that hair removal. But Crane, what you doing? I'm making a smoothie. He's forcing me to eat. What you put in there? I put oats, peanut butter, dose, nut butter, chocolate, protein, ice, and milk. That's it. That's what it looks like. So yeah, it's gonna be there. And then I'm gonna eat a slice of pizza. I'm weak. I'm sitting here trying to shoot this damn fly. I'm messing up the camera. But yeah, so y'all see the difference in what we eat. She get pizza. I get 75 grams of rice. I'm not, I'm, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. If I knock this out, I'll see y'all in a second. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay, now we're gonna do the hair removal. Uh, we got this Nair body cream I'm about to put on. Uh, I already shaved my arms because my arms had that much hair on it already. So I didn't feel like doing it on there, but I gotta do my chest. In my back and my legs, so Crane about to help us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeez. Trying to get paid, you know it's all still part of the game. They running five drills, I'm off for the chain, and I'm high still, looking like Scorpion. Get over here, been some people trying to relate, ain't close to here. Think it ain't a sacred place, you done missing. Turpin relationships just ain't been worth it. Fool, if you think when I don't post, I ain't working. Never too close, I know no thing certain. I walk in purpose, float on surface, fly in person. There's some stuff you gotta be birth with. sensitive so we try to pick like the most like non-sensitive thing it's just still got my body burning so let to get some like some type of first aid born, something like that triple antibiotic can put on there hopefully it calm it down and stuff but everything all extra you know what i'm saying lean i can tell the difference already everything gone so yeah gotta go downstairs Show what our next meal is, and we'll go ahead and wrap this up. But the hair removal is gone. I know y'all want to see that. I know y'all want to see her wax me. We may do that for the next show. You do not want to do the nair again. You no, like we're not doing the nair again. We're going to eat something else because that shit, hell no. Nah. But see y'all downstairs. All right, y'all, back downstairs, and we on some meal number five. We got six ounces of chicken. We got 50 grams of broccoli. And that's damn near all we got for the rest of the night. We have one more meal. It's six ounces of 937 ground beef, and we got 30 grams of almonds. But this right here is our last meal of the day. We have no more carbs other than this broccoli for the rest of the night. I haven't even calculated how much I'm eating because I would rather just eat what's on the plan and not worry about the numbers. But trust me when I tell you, we not eating much. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I appreciate y'all if y'all stuck around to the end of this video because I know y'all have been waiting for the peak week updates and i'm sorry i couldn't give them to y'all as frequently as i wanted to because i promise you i just did not have the energy to do that even just carrying the camera with me all day today to the gym back to the crib like everywhere i've been it's just been tiring but it's just been tiring i really don't have that much energy to expend so i'm glad i'm being able to do at least one video for y'all but the next time y'all see me it's gonna be for the one day out video y'all gonna see me get tanned y'all gonna see me get my number i'm gonna get checked in weighed in everything like that i'm gonna come back to the crib we're really just gonna recap the last 12 weeks together man because at the end of the day the next time y'all see me after that video is going to be on stage. So everything we've done so far has leading up to this moment. But y'all stay tuned for that video. I'm about to eat my last two meals and take my ass to bed. But as always, man, y'all stay swole. Look, we two days out. <laughs> Time to get active, man. I'm going to see y'all in the next one.